What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this updated video, again, I want to show you how to split test your Google Ads in the new AdWords editor. Now, this applies to campaigns, ad sets, and ads, and is a simple process involving ad duplication and copying and pasting. So let's get started with the campaign. This campaign is WordPress that we did in our previous video. So let's say we want to duplicate the campaign and all the corresponding ad sets and ads associated with this campaign. The process is simple for a campaign. We click on this, we click copy, and we click paste. You can also do control C and control V. Uh, this gets a little bit more complicated in the ad level and I'll tell you why when we get there, but let's just do this really quickly. So at the bottom, it should tell you here, your changes have been made. So let me just quickly change my filtering options and you should see the new campaigns both there. Okay, so I've updated my filter to make sure we have the most relevant campaigns. But as you can see here, we have WordPress and then we have WordPress number two, which was automatically made to indicate that this is campaign number two with everything the same. So if I click over here to this campaign here, you should see ad group one and you should see the exact same ad as you would for the previous campaign. So let me go back to all campaigns. Let's click on this one really quickly. As you can see, it also says ad one and it has the exact same keywords and exact same ads. Okay, so that's the campaign level. So at the top here, let's go back to all campaigns. Let's go back to this specific campaign and let's say now we want to duplicate an ad set so that everything remains the same except we want to change up the keyword. So we don't want to go through the whole process of creating a new ad set. We just want to take what we have and change up some keywords. So here's how we would do that. We would simply select that. Again, click copy, click paste, and let's pause the new ad set. And there you go, it's done. And it says ad group one, number two. Okay, so that's done automatically. Now you can take more, okay? So for the ads, what we'll be doing is we'll be taking three to four ads at a time and duplicating those. Um, but here, I'm just showing you the process. So, you, you know, even for ad groups, what we can do is we can select both of these, we can copy, and we can paste them again. So if you want to, you know, for the ads, we'll be experimenting with tons of different ad copies to see which one performs the best. For that one, we'll have, you know, eight to 10 different ad copies per ad set to help us determine uh, which one would be best when we use conversion tracking. So that's that. So let's go into now the ad group and let's um, let's go to this very specific level of ads. So over here um, in this in this new editor, it's not as straightforward uh, as in the old editor. There are a few things we may need to do. You may get some error messages and that's what uh, I, I wanted to show you here. So let's start off by doing exactly that which we do, uh, which we did for the campaign and ad set. We'll click copy this ad. Okay, say we want to change a few words and we want to see which ad performs better. We want to test our copywriting. Now you can't paste here until you remove this X sign. And then you can either click here or you can click control V. Let's say pause new ads. You have to say if ad already exists, create duplicate. Otherwise it will say error, there, this ad already exists. So let's click paste over here. And here is what what happens. Okay, so it gave you an error message. So let's just copy this thing. So I'm just going to double click that message. I'm going to open a new window and I'll just paste it here. So as you can see, here is the entire message. It says an error occurred. Please try again later. Close ad status. Okay, so for this case, they want us to close the ad status. So you may get some error message similar to this. Just copy it and read what the full thing says. So what we have to do here is instead of ad status all but removed, We'll need to make it we'll need to set it to all so these are all the ads that are removed but for the purpose of doing this duplication we must have them present even though they are a bit annoying so let's click copy here and now i'm going to so i, I need to cancel it out now i'll paste and let's see if that works for us and it looks like it did okay so here you have this uh one ad pasted so now let's just create a few more copies like i mentioned we want to create you know I usually have eight to 10. I, I won't copy eight to 10 here, but that is something that you can do simply with this process. So now we have all these ads, there you go. Now what we can do is we can go into each one of them. Um, just just change whatever you wanna change, you know, try trying to build a website. Okay, great. Uh, this is just, you know, call out extensions and, what, and whatnot, don't worry about that. 
I'll just click cancel. So there you go. We've done that change. Um, let's go to the other ads. Let's maybe change the, you know, put this in the bottom and this. In the, so change headline one and headline two. So let, let me paste that here and say, try out WordPress today, you know, so, something like that, etc., etc. You do that for all of your ads, and there you go. A really simple and easy way for you to split test. Uh, of course, that little um, red message could get annoying, but just copy the full thing into you know a notepad, see what it says, and make the necessary changes to be able to copy paste. But that's pretty much it. Really simple way for you to uh, you know create tons of different ads and determine which one works best. Um, much easier and faster way to split test. So that's about it. I hope this video was helpful for you regarding the new AdWords editor. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to write them down below or message me on Facebook. Uh, on my Facebook group, I, you know, I try to be as responsive as I can. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like uh, and a, thumb, uh, a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. Uh, I cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, reviews, how to's, etc, etc. So make sure you stay tuned uh, to the upcoming content. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.